hey, if you guys would like to join in on community events, I run them myself. You can join the official Miners Haven Discord down below in the description. Also, shout out to UnableMuffin58 for helping with some of the optimizations and stuff for this uh, setup that we're going to be making here. Hey, um, little editor's note here. Since this is a life, since this is a life ten plus TSTG setup, all of the items could be obtained at life ten or earlier. For instance, this is a life ten item that we use. However, all of the life ten items, which there's only three of, are extremely common and not hard at all to get. For uh, reference, in the video, all of the items we use are Tesla Resetter, Big Bad Blaster, Mineral Wheel. Those are all the life tens. Astral Predictor. Pizza Blaster, Catalyst, Quantum Ore Cleaner, Ore Illuminator, Vortex Chamber, and the Wild Spore. These are all of the items we use. However, there's also another item uh, that's not a rebirth item, but it's also not even required. And it's maintenance supporter, it just helps, but it's not needed. As far as the rest of the video goes, uh, the footage of me getting TSTG is from last night, so uh, I just figured I'd mention that because I'm on a bit of a... a I, I only have so much time today, uh, I've got to go run some errands and uh, stuff, so... There's a lot of luck involved, it took 9 hours to get a TSTG or so please have some patience, this is a really long video, this took like... This probably took about 30 hours to make, um, so please, thank you guys, I love you all. Subscribe, like, whatever. Thank you. So as you guys could see here, right now this is just the process of me getting to SXD cash. Um, the reason I need SXD cash is because shop upgraders. So as you could see, I just got SXD. Here's the setup if you'd like to make it yourself. It is just a suspended lava refiner loop with uh, four ore steamers with ion fields on the side, an overlord, quantum ore cleaner, astral predictor, pizza blaster, catalyst, mineral wheel, or illuminator with an ore gate afterwards, vortex chamber with a wild spore, uh, three orbital upgraders, flaming ore scanner with nuclear chamber and a freon blast, six mini upgraders with a portable flamethrower, going into three aerogel refiners, and then we use a freon suppressor to take the fire away so the ore does not die, then a ore magma fire, and a tesla. The furnace we used was Heart of Dusk. That's the setup for this, if you guys uh, wanted to get SXD. Um, but now, we're going to build the monstrosity of the setup for TSDG. It's a very, very long process. Okay, before we do anything here, we're going to place down an ore pulsar right here. This is just the the spot I decided to put it in, it seemed quite uh, efficient when we did this. So you could do that yourself. And then you're going to place your green teleporter about one tile away from the edge of your base. Now we are going to buy two ore transponders for about six SXD. Then we are going to put an ore gate. Now we're going to put a green sender and a yellow sender. Now, we're going to go to the shop and we're going to buy some conveyor walls. We're also going to go to decor and we're going to buy a buttload of segments for glass and walls uh, made of glass. So, now we're going to take some of those conveyor walls and we're just going to put them on the sides here. Or, as for some reason, we're falling out of the setup uh, right here and we don't know why. But, we're going we're gonna to make sure that doesn't happen here today. Now we're going to go to the shop and we're going to buy some rainbow night mines, preferably two. I'm going to place these as close as I can get to the setup here, but I'm going to I'm going to place these around here. Now we're just going to let the ores go through. You need to have 250 ores going through this setup. So, I'm actually going to move it back by another tile. I don't necessarily know the placement exactly just yet, but we're going to figure that out together. So I'm going to place over here a orange teleporter receiver, a conveyor ramp, a centering conveyor, a freon blast upgrader, 
another centering conveyor. We're also going to move this over here, about two units away, uh, going from the Freon Blaster. So there should be one tile here and one tile there. Now we are going to place five plasma conveyors. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna kind of repeat this contraption right here. So a centering conveyor, Freon, and another centering conveyor. And now we can place another five of these. Now there's one change I'm going to make. We're going to withdraw this centering conveyor and we're going to put a reversible conveyor. This is so we have an easy way out for the ores in the big bad blaster loop. What we're going to do is we're going to make this go to the blue side, and we're also going to put a orange teleporter. Why would I put an orange teleporter when it's just going to go back in a loop? This is to make sure that if ores are bouncing around inside of the loop, that they don't get teleported out of the loop. We don't want to just accidentally send ores into the setup. We want to minimize that. So until the ores are actually ready to be sent, we're not even going to have that teleporter placed down. Um, so now we're going to take a bunch of walls, or wall segments, and we are going to make this look safe. So how we're going to do that is like this. I'm going to place a big glass wall right there with a wall segment here. I'm going to place two segments, one on the side of Freon, and then another one there. This part's a little tricky, but we're going to put two here. We're going to leave two. Uh, four units empty. Then we're going to put another three. Now you're just going to kind of surround that. So this is... This is what... Your base should look like. So far. Now, just for ease of access, if you'd like to know what teleporters you're going to need to mix and match with, um, I'm going to actually put all of those down right now. So I need to know... That I'm going... Well, I'm obviously going to need a pink teleporter at some point. Uh, this is what we're going to send the ores into the furnace with. Now I'm also going to place down a blue. This is going to be for the actual setup. Now I'm going to go and make that setup. This is a long, long setup to make. First, though, we're going to grab Heart of Dusk. This is a shop furnace. We're going to take Heart of Dusk and we're going to put it right here. So, now that we've placed Heart of Dusk, I'm going to take a pink teleporter receiver, and I'm just going to put it right there. We're just going to put that in the far corner of your base. Remember, take into account, I have the walls here to separate the difference between an executive base and non-executive base. Okay, so now we're going to take a blue teleporter. We're going to place it maybe two units away from the edge. And we're going to take a portable or advancer. I'm gonna just do that. I promise it hits. It doesn't look like it hits, but uh, but it it does hit. So now we are going to take three more on each side. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna get some plasma conveyors. Now we're going to take one professional upgrader, just one. Now we're going to take a centering conveyor, a large conveyor ramp, and a steamer, just one. Then we're going to put an ore gate, and we're going to put a blue teleporter down. Next to it, we're going to put a plasma conveyor. Now we're going to take an orbital upgrader. There you go. So what this is, this is essentially a shortened down version of a, a shop loop. A shop loop is where you take a bunch of items that are in the shop and that could be looped, like portable ore advancers, professional upgraders, ore steamers, uh, or can be used a certain amount of times. Uh, this is just the way we did it because we had to make so many optimizations to the base during the process of actually getting TSDG. So not all of the items from the shop loops that people make are in here. This is just a dumbed down one to save space more than anything. Next, just for efficiency and to keep sanity uh, a thing, we're going to put an ore tracker. You don't need it, but I highly suggest having it. Uh, it helps you, you know, know if you're going to get screwed or not. Then we're going to place a conveyor ramp. Uh, that's not supposed to happen, but that's minor save and placement for you. 
We're going to put a centering conveyor. And then three conveyor width away. So one, two, three. We're going to put another one going that way. Now we're going to place two plasmas and a ramp. Now we're going to take two hydraulic ramps going up. And now a hydraulic conveyor at that height. And now we have this. Now we are going to take two flaming ore scanners just to make sure that it hits both of them. And now a nuclear chamber. Now you can take another centering conveyor just because the ores did fall so they can move around a little bit. And we're going to put a Freon Blast Upgrader. Now you're going to take a conveyor ramp and a raised mini converter. And we're going to put, uh, and we're going to put six mini upgraders right here. So I did make one mistake, and it is quite an easy fix. We need to move all of this by one unit. So you want two spaces there. There we go. Sorry about that. So now that that is fixed, we're going to put a centering conveyor right there. We're going to put a plasma conveyor right here as well. Another conveyor ramp and another centering conveyor. Now I'm going to put an Astral Predictor. Three uh, Cryogenic Upgraders. One Maintenance Supporter. Now here's where things get kind of awkward. We're going to place a Centering Conveyor going towards the Flaming Ore Scanner. Then one going the way we were going. Place another one that way. Centering Conveyor going back. And another centering conveyor going the way we're going. So this is what you want to make. Now you're going to put a segment right here. Now as well, you're going to put a wall right here. I'm also going to put a wall right here. I'm going to get an ore elevator. Now we are going to buy some Toxic Schrodingers. Now you're going to have three Toxic Schrodingers down. We obviously need to fix up this uh, wall stuff right here because this can kill a lot of ores. We're going to touch up on the rest of the walls later, because we're actually going to have to do some weird workarounds with walls, so I'd like to minimize all that as much as possible. Let's put this here. I'm going to put a, a ladder down, so I suggest buying a bunch of ladders. Ladders are great. The reason we use ladders is they have this one unit wall that you could use for stuff, uh, which is great. Gonna put another one down and then we're gonna put a wild spore. We're also gonna add in just one more conveyor in case. Now we're going to go to the shop and we're going to buy a bunch of gates, uh, specifically the controlled gates. These are also just kind of these one unit wide walls that are incredibly easy to use. So we're going to do just that. Now we're going to place some more walls uh, in segments. So we're going to put two here, some more walls here. I'm actually just going to replace these with a wall entirely to save a uh, base space. Gonna
and put a ladder right here. Some segments right there as well. Could also just put a wall there. Nice. Okay. So this is exactly what we were trying to make. Great. Now right here, we're going to place a gate. I'm actually going to replace this wall with another gate as well. I'm going to put a... Um, I'm going to move this gate over to here. We don't need anything right there. And this is about as good as you're going to get. I mean, you could probably do this as well. But I think this is the best we can do as far as space and stuff goes. Oh, one other thing. Uh, make sure you put a segment right here. So now that we did that, we are going to place two conveyors and then a another conveyor ramp. Now I'm going to place a converter ramp, so we need to go to machines and look up a large conveyor converter or large converter ramp. I'm going to buy a bunch of those. We're going to place one down. We're going to place down our repulsion devices. We're only going to place down ten of these. Or, sorry, five of these. Not ten. Most people use ten. I do not. We need space rather than getting every single ore upgraded, although that would be great. Now we're going to put down a vortex chamber. And now we need a rotary upgrader. This is where a lot of ores are actually going to get stuck, unfortunately. So you're going to have to make sure that you kind of work with this thing. Yeah, so as you can see, we're having some problems with the base space. Um, so an easy alternative is obviously this is a one unit wide problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this wall segment right here. Push that back there. And then I don't think we could even have anything over here um, at all. No, we can. Easy solution is we're going to put this wall back, this gate. We're going to put the, the segment we, we removed back as well. Put that ladder in. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the shop and we're going to buy a raised ear conveyor. All right, so now we're going to place down a centering conveyor and an ore magnifier. Now I'm going to place down an ore illuminator and an ore gate. Now I'm going to place down a, a large converter ramp. And a ore replicator. Place that about there. And we're going to get some plasma conveyors. We're going to need quite a lot. I think we're going to place four of these, if I'm correct. Sorry, my mistake. We're going to place three. We're going to place a fourth one right over there between, or with a conveyor ramp between the, uh, the conveyors. Sorry, I'm like all over the place trying to get this for you guys. <laughs> Now this is where things get a little bit confusing, but we are going to put down a loop-de-loop -loop and a centering conveyor. I'm going to put another two centering conveyors going down here, another one going that way. Now we're going to need some walls, so I'm going to put down a... Uh, I'm actually going to go with a wood wall for this one, so let's find a wooden wall. So one change we need to make is we need to put a half conveyor right here. So let's go, let's buy some half conveyors. Let's also buy some tiny conveyors, we'll probably need them. I'm going to put a half conveyor right here. We're going to move the loop-de-loop -loop 
by one, as well as the four centering conveyors by one. Now we're gonna put a wooden wall right here. We have some leniency on the base size, so I really wanna play safe and I'm going to make one more change and I'm really sorry. We're gonna move this down one more and just add in another conveyor. So let's remove the half conveyor. Let's put an extra plasma in and let's do this. We might need to fix this later, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna see. Now we're just gonna put some segments around here. You don't want to put one here. I'm also just gonna put another centering conveyor. So now we have this, and we are going to put a mineral wheel. and a quantum ore cleaner. Now this is where things get annoying, if anything. So now we need to buy a bunch of ore colliders and a bunch of ore cannons. A plasma conveyor. A unstable hydraulic conveyor. and a downward hydraulic ramp. So this is the contraption we're trying to make. And we're gonna place this a couple of times. Uh, I'm gonna look at maybe five times. And now we're gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm actually going to take another plasma conveyor. I'm also gonna put a wall segment right here. We're gonna put a cannon down with a plasma conveyor and make sure that we uh, grab that over. Also, wait, I made a mistake. Don't use a plasma conveyor there. Put a centering conveyor there. Also gonna put a ladder right inside of here. Now with all this open space, we're gonna need to make some changes. We're gonna head over here, and we're going to put some ion fields in. I'm gonna put down all four of them, just like this. So now over here, we're gonna kinda copy the same thing about three more times. Now we're gonna take an overlord device and place that right here. We are going to place a catalyst. A pizza blaster. Now we're gonna take some centering conveyors, just in case. We're gonna take another centering conveyor actually. take a portable flame door and we're gonna put it right here. Now we're gonna take a elevator. We're gonna take some aerogel upgraders, refiners, whatever. We're going to place them like this, these centering conveyors with a Freon Blast upgrader right after. Now, we're gonna place a Tesla and a orange teleporter. This is to put the ores back into the big bad blaster loop. Now, all we're gonna do to change this up is we're going to make this cleaner and safer. So we're gonna get some wooden walls. We don't want to use glass walls here. I'm gonna put a ladder right back here slip that right in and then we're going to take some segments a 
another letter. Now let's place some more walls. And some more segments. We could fix this again with another letter. Alright, so we're going to go through the setup here. So we're going to pause this gate. We're going to make sure these stop flickering because of lag. Nice. We're going to send those all into the Big Bad Blaster loop. And we're just going to let them sit there on their own without a Big Bad Blaster for now. The reason we're going to do that is we're going to let them spread out. I just had a really good catch. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do something really quick. I kind of made a mistake, and I'd like to catch it before anyone else does. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna send the orders back into the transponder loop to keep them safe for a second. So now the orders are just gonna sit there again. Don't worry about it. So we're going to remove these plasma conveyors, and we're going to replace these with full shield conveyors. Not oversized, just normal. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some unstable conveyors. And we're just going to place them at the lowest height possible above those full shield conveyors, just like this. Now we're going to take some hydraulic normal conveyors. We're going to place one going down and one going to the right. The reason we're going to do this is so that if any ores get launched out uh, or through the top of the full shield conveyor, they will actually just go on these conveyors and go back into the loop, potentially saving some ores. Okay, now we're going to pause the gate again. Let's make sure that this is no longer green and this is now orange do this as well. Okay, we're going to let them sit there on their own so that the ores could spread out. Um, so that less, less ores are just flying around and stuff. You don't want that. So now that we have this long, spread out string of ores, we're going to start killing them. Remember, you want to have about 50 left. Okay, so a few ores got flung out. Another one. That's okay. Some ores are going to die. There is nothing you can do. But because we made this quite a safe and trustworthy loop, it's going to work pretty good. So we need to take into account some things. A lot of ores are probably off the base, or hiding on the base, or something. So we're going to give or take 5 to 10 ores. So we're going to stop when the ore limit hits about 60, as there will probably be about 50 actually being looped. Not in, uh, Because remember, like I said, not including the, the stuck ores and all that stuff, so... Look, you can see a few stuck ores right now. There's probably a good 10 there. At least 10. There's quite a lot stuck. And there's, quite frankly, not a whole lot that can be done for it. You could try to launch them back in, but you're just asking for some bad ores at that point. And we're going to stop now. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to replace this orange teleporter with a blue teleporter. You're going to send all of those ores in. 
Now before you walk away, what you want to do is you want to wait for every single ore to go through, and then you're going to replace it back to how it was originally. So now all of the ores have gone through this once, so now they're going to go through a second time. Now a third time. Now a fourth time. And now a fifth time. So we're going to put the plasma conveyor there. And now we're going to put them back. So now all of our ores are worth about TDD to DD. That ore unfortunately died. Okay, now this is where we're going to lose more ores, so be ready. Awesome. So now, make sure the ore illuminator gate is closed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these repulsion devices, we're going to pick them up and place them back down to reset their counters. Now this ore is stuck. This one is two, and this one is two. That's a really good ore. That's an SPD ore. That's not easy to see. So we're going to try our best to get these unstuck. It's quite difficult to do, but it can be done. Uh, I suggest jumping inside of it and kind of just rotating a bit. Not too quick, but enough to where you could bop the ore a little bit. Um, now we're going to wait 10 seconds because you can't really see the ore illuminator effect anymore because all the sparkles from the Schrodinger's. So we're just going to go on a whim here and open. Now they're all duplicated. Now they're going to go through. We're going to lose a couple ores here. Not a lot, but not a little. Now they're all going to go through the colliders. Most of the ores actually should survive this quite well. For more precaution, we're going to make one change to the collider area. Um which is we're going to put some conveyors here as well. So the ores cannot just fly out through there anymore. I'm also going to hop up here and I'm going to try to push the ores back in. trying to save as many ores as possible here. Okay, so let's go and take a look at our ores. So their values are quite high, um, surprisingly. These are really good ores. So now we're going to re-loop. Get our big bad blaster out. And now we're just going to kind of hope that this goes well. So we need to... Now that there's also less ores, you could also move the unstable conveyors. You don't need them. In fact, it's also better to not have them at this point. Uh, most ores won't be launching through anymore. Uh, you only use that when there's about 200 plus ores, so... Now we could actually see all of the ores in there, so we could better count how many ores are alive. You also kind of have to go just on, on your vision here. You can't get a great estimate anymore on how many ores are in the loop. So right now it looks like there's probably at least 20 to 25. Um, maybe less than 20 gonna loot for a little bit here 
until maybe TGN. VGN, we have some VGN ores. Okay, so we've got to where we want to be. Now we're going to replace everything once more. So we're going to send the ores back here into the setup. And now we're going to put everything back to where it was. We're going to place this right here. Put the yellow down, or the orange down, and we're going to put everything back to how it was. So we're just going to loop this for a minute. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really get to count uh, how many times they've gone through everything. But you could kind of tell with the portables. I'm going to let it go through a little bit more. Alright, they're done. You could tell because an ore did not get upgraded by the steamer. So now we can send everything through. None of the ores died. Uh, this ore got stuck a little bit. We're going to try to push him a little bit. You got to be very careful on this thing. Nice. Good save. It seems that a lot of the ores actually ended up surviving this, which is incredible. I'm also just going to replace this one repulsion device really quick. Just to make sure that one ore gets the good upgrade. Nice. None of the ores got stuck. Nope. One did. Nice. Good fix. So they're worth about QTV, TVG, uh, maybe one QNV. Uh, they're all very close to QNV. QNV, nice. So we have some good ores here. This is looking like a potential TSTG run. We're going to open this up now, and then we're going to close it. One ore died, so that was good. And then none of these should die now. The ore went back inside. That was a good fix. I wish we actually had those unstable there originally. And now they're back in here. So let's see what their value is. They're at about SEV, SPG. These are some pretty okay ores. Um, now we just really have to hope that we get good blaster luck. Um, we're going to loop until there is one ore left. So this is where there's going to be a lot of patience involved. We're just going to kind of have to hope it works out. Okay, this is our only ore. Uh, if it's not enough, we're just going to have to do the process again, which is totally okay. So we're going to remove this orange one, and we're going to put this pink one in. Let's send the ore through. Let's see what we get. Oh no! I think we were like, uh, I think we were like one suffix off. That's awful. All right, time to just do it one more time. I can't. I can't. All right. Uh, now that I'm recording. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna teach how to like actually build this setup and stuff. But uh, essentially, this is this is like really really low chance for the for the big bad blasters to give this much money. And we have a really decent looking chance at actually making this puzzle. We have two ores spinning right now. Um, and we need to make sure that uh, they it makes it through. So I'm, I'm incredibly nervous right now. Uh, it's about one suffix away. This has been hours of luck. And uh, I don't know, we're, we're gonna see where this goes. But that is, that is a DTG ore, Freddy.
I I know I'm probably gonna get screwed, but Alright, there are two ores spinning. What is that value? What is the value? 40. What's, uh, what's 40 times 150? Is that it? Is that it? Are we done? Yeah. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. It's done, baby. It's done. It's fucking done. Motherfucker! <laughs> oh my god. Dude, it has been hours. It has been hours. Oh my god. Oh my god, we fucking did it. We did it, we did it, we, we did it live in MH102. Yeah, we did We did this live in uh, MH100 here. You guys could see, everybody say hello. It's you guys. You guys. I hate my No, I have like, everyone's like texts up on screen too.